The one thing I need you to clarify here, Cam, and this is going back to summer camp, but I am getting bombarded with people commenting on my YouTube channel about you declaring that Nikosi Perry was going to be the starting quarterback for Miami. My memory serves me that you said you wanted him to win the job because you know the immense potential. You didn't predict him to win the job necessarily. That's my memory. Yeah, uh, and that's <laughs> that's kind of like half right. Um, I thought, I do see that Nikosi Perry has athleticism and potential. I thought that he would have um, around this time, maybe uh, end of October, his uh, potential would have come to the forefront and then he would have eventually gotten the starting job. Then I didn't think that he was going to start like game one or anything. So um, yeah, I wanted Nikosi Perry to win the job. That's a hundred percent correct. That's what I said. You know, I, I meant that, um, but I didn't think he was going to win it straight away. I thought he was going to eventually take over during the year. Um, but that's just not the case. I see that, or I, there are reports that Nikosi Perry is progressing during practice, but Malik Rozier is playing way better than I thought he was going to, honestly. And that's what uh, has kept him on the field, uh, even in spite of the times uh, of bad performance from um, <laughs> Rozier, because we've seen some very bad performances. But when he gets good, when he gets going, man, that kid gets on a roll. So, yeah, I wanted Nikosi Perry to win the job. I do believe that of all of the Miami quarterbacks, he has the most physical talent. I thought he would eventually take it over towards the middle end of October, and that part of my statement has been proven false. But I did not think that Nikosi Perry was going to win the job from day one, especially considering the fact that he was not an early enrollee. So it's – a little bit of what you're saying and then a little bit also where, yeah, if they're talking about you, I thought that uh, Perry was going to have the job by now. I did. Um, but Malik Rozier is playing way better than I thought he was. So uh, I think that it's kind of six in one hand, half dozen in the other, where there is truth being said by everybody. But if you go back and watch those videos, again, I said that I wanted Perry to be the quarterback, that he has the most talent of any player at that position for Miami. I didn't think that he was going to be ready right away, which was true. And I thought he was going to take over eventually, but that part was being uh, false. So kind of halfway right. You know what I think is at work here, Cam, is that uh, we, we can evaluate Rozier's uh, play. It's been pretty sporadic, but what is tied to a quarterback's play is the record. So the better the record get, and this is a great thing for Miami, but people suddenly are remembering that's the guy that said Nikosi Perry should be the starting quarterback. So he must not know what he's talking about. <laughs> and that's a, that's a little revisionist history there. Uh, so there, so that's not necessarily fair. But uh, Yeah, I mean, those things happen, but we all make predictions, and sometimes they come true and sometimes they don't. But Exactly. Uh, Thank you. You know, hey, Malik Rozier is playing way better than I thought he would. Uh, and I love the fact that he's proven me wrong like that because, you know, even though wins are not a quarterback stat, Miami's 8-0 right now, so I'll, I'll take it.